Um, I was just getting a little history lesson on uh, Fred, Fred Belenikoff earlier, so um, to, to hear about how great he was and, and the things he did for, for the game, it, it's definitely an honor, and um, I'm just blessed to be in this predicament. Freddie Barnes is really modest about this, but there's no doubt that he deserves his place as one of three Boletnikoff Award finalists. The wideout leads the country statistically in every major category. He has 36 more catches than anybody. And that's why he, along with Notre Dame's Golden Tate and Texas's Jordan Shipley, will see on December 10th who gets named as college football's top wideout. But that's in December. Barnes and the rest of the Falcons are understandably more focused on the task at hand, which this week is their Super Bowl. Toledo, Bowling Green. To hear guys talk about this game in the past, is there respect? Yeah, but there will also be plenty of hatred when the two teams take the field Friday afternoon at the Doit. Some people hate orange and some people hate the other color. And uh, we just happen to hate orange. It's hard to say the word hate, but with these guys, uh, it kind of rolls off your tongue. It is uh, the best uh, non-BCS rivalry in the country, in my opinion. Strong words for a strong rivalry. Both Toledo and Bowling Green look at their upcoming game as their Super Bowl. To us right here, it's the biggest one, bigger than any BCS rivalry. So this is the only one we care about. I don't, I don't care about any other one. This make or break your season, basically. Um, I know a lot of fans really don't care what you do this, during the season as long as you beat Bowling Green. But for the last two years, Toledo hasn't beaten Bowling Green. And what's worse is that last year's loss came in blowout fashion at the Glass Bowl. It was 38-10. The last game in the whole in the um, Glass Bowl that year, and it was just this is just a defeat. And, I mean, you never want to lose, especially lose by that much against your rival school. So, I mean, you got a lot of pressure on just just compete and just do a lot better than you did last year. And so last Friday, after the win over Eastern Michigan, Coach Beckman put up all sorts of reminders of last year's game, so that history won't repeat itself. It just added fuel to the fire. Just show you the stuff that you want to bring back into the um, the Lamar Complex. And show you, show you pictures of them taking pictures in the, um, in the goal line after the game. But even though the Falcons are rolling along in both the rivalry and in the last few games, it's a rivalry. So don't expect BG to let down their guard. It's a different feeling when we get on the field against those guys. Uh, just the past we've had against them and being 20 miles away, it's, it's something that's really hard to put into words. Well, how about this? In this game, second place really is the first loser.